What's up, my fans? This is Stan Series, and in this video, we are going to be reacting to the Loki trailer number two. Well, obviously, I know it's called official trailer, but to me, it's trailer number two. So, yeah, it's been a while since I've made a new YouTube video, and when I just saw the Loki trailer, I was like, you know what? I'm going to make a new YouTube video and reaction on this. Yes, I know I didn't do it for the latest Black Widow one, but I've done like a couple of those, and I thought, nah, I'll leave that one out, because... Really, because at first I thought, oh, it's just going to be scenes we've already seen, but they gave you like a couple of new ones, but oh well. But anyway, we're here now for the Loki one. So, predictions, what could happen? Well, obviously, going to some know more of the story, like why is Loki being taken by the, um, this, obviously, organization, the Time Vehement? Like, why do they want him? Um, do the Lokis have to do something with this? I would say so, but let's have a play and watch. So, I hope this looks good. Here we go. Ooh. I know what this place is. Ooh. The timekeepers have built quite the circus. Ooh. And I see the clowns are playing their parts to perfection. Ooh. Oh. Big metaphor guy. I love it. Makes mm. you sound super smart. I am smart. I know. Okay. Mm. Okay. This. This. <laughs> Please sign to verify this is everything you've ever said. What? This is absurd. <laughs> sign this too. Oh dear, how many paper works we got? Ooh. You picked up the Tesseract breaking reality. Yep. I want you to help us fix it. Ooh. Why me? I need your unique Loki perspective. Oh. Do I get a weapon? Yeah. Good. Oh. I'm ten What's steps there? ahead of you. You're not big on trust, are you? Ooh. You can trust me. Who okay, gives to me almost every moment of your entire life? You've literally stabbed people in the back like 50 times. That's true. Why hmm. never do it again? <laughs> nah. Oh. Ooh. Wow, okay, that's pretty good that was. Didn't show off the Lady Loki as I was hoping for. I mean, that was another thing saying, oh, please show us one of the other Lokis. But, nah, like I said, we just had to take what they show us. But that looks pretty good. So, okay, so let's get into this then. So, obviously... They show us, obviously, a doorway opening. We're showing us Loki coming through. One in the, um... Oh, pardon me. One in the, the um, time vermin, vermin people. With the Tesseract in the hand. So, obviously, they, they'll be doing something with that. I mean, don't know what they're going to do with the Tesseract, actually. Because that's actually a good question about it. Because, obviously, this Loki who escaped from the Endgame, obviously, that Loki one. With that Tesseract. I'm like, hmm... Wonder what they're gonna do with the test right now, because obviously that contains the space stone. So obviously uh, they want to fix that. So who knows? Maybe that might come apart later on. Like saying, "All right, take this. You're going back to that point of time before you escaped." So that could happen. Obviously, we hear the dialogues like you heard with Loki. So he seems like he's heard of them then. So he's heard of the time variant of forties then. So he's heard of them. So oh, so that's interesting to know because. I just thought he didn't know about them. That's what I was going by, but... Nah. Obviously, we can hear the dialogues about with him talking about them. We see a couple of news... Oops. Oh, I didn't mean that. All right. We get some new shots, really, like... Showing us, like, uh, excavators. 
We see the obviously the statues again, which I've heard people say that oh that's like the Kangs. Apparently that's what I've heard, so that's interesting that's true. Like that's supposed to be the wet perspective that's supposed to be the statues of the different versions of Kang the Conqueror. But that has been a rumour as well saying, Oh, he's either villain of the show, but I couldn't see it, but it could he could be mentioned or appeared because we know he's having a big appearance as the main villain in Ant Man Quantumanium. Well, Ant Man and the Wasp Quantumanium, so who knows? Maybe he could be there or not. Or just reference. Obviously, we get a glimpse of a door. I don't know what that's to, but he's in the time various place, so might be the entrance to the cold room, I would believe. We get a new shot in the courtroom, actually, with Loki on the trial. We got some time variables there. And then we get, we got our, our main actor, Owen, who is fully confirmed now. Uh, this was confirmed a bit back, saying that he is playing Morbius M. Morbius. <laughs> Strange name to me, really. Uh, how could someone just have the, their first name as their last name? Very, very strange. So, yeah, he is confirmed to be as that. Um... Also, as well with that, we got Loki. <laughs> Funny, eh? he's like he's in one of those line things, but there's no one, no one else in the line. But you got someone on the other side, so very, very strange. Obviously, we got a bit with him talking to Loki. You know, there's having some little chatter. We get a bit with him, like send him to another room, and that is funny. That's funny with the guy saying about you got to sign all these and. I was first. I was like, "What's with all the paperwork?" And then obviously, when Loki says, "This is a di this is a sort," you know what he says. And then, a, and then obviously, a paper comes through with the words he said. And I'm like, to me, I'm like, "Hang on, is this all the? Is, is all these papers with all words he has said in his life?" I'm like, "Damn, that must be a lot of paperwork he's got to go through." Which it looks like he will. Oh boy, I feel. So, I mean, I gotta feel sorry for this Loki, but yeah, he's done bad things this one. But <laughs> I gotta feel sorry he's gonna do all that paperwork. Then obviously we got. Like I said, it looks like we are getting a bit more of the story. So it's just what I imagined. So because of Loki escaping from that point of time, which he's not supposed to be doing, it's caused a um, a whiff in the timeline. So that looks bad. Obviously, before that line, uh, obviously we got uh, Morbius saying about we're we're all about keeping time and everything. So, looks like them sticking to what they do in the comics. You know, like they, that's the point of their job. With really. it, it's like if anything happens in the timeline, like something that's not meant to happen, they they saw sort of, their job is made to fix it, like get it back to what it was originally. And obviously, this is Loki scenario because what Lo what this Loki did because he escaped and obviously from the timeline. It costs whip, costs um, alternative whips opening from this bit here I'm seeing. So it's like a, it's like a, well, not a proper straight line, I'd say. I'd say it was a straight line, but then it's gone curvy a bit, and you got like some lines coming out of it. So I'd say, oh, because of this Loki escape from the timeline, which he was not supposed to do, and he never did that, it's obviously cost some whips in the timeline. So obviously, this is all about, I'd say they, they got this Loki just to fix the timeline, which. I could see that's what's happening. I don't. I don't get how the other Loki's come involved with this, like the Lady Loki and, well, the Kid Loki and the, the other Loki. The uh, well, I don't know if he's. Well, they sounded like he was known as Classic Loki or, or like your Loki, like for problem, you know, history or. Well, that's what I'm going by. But I don't know how they play a part of it. But Lady Loki, it looks like. Maybe she wants to cost Mystic, you know, in the timelines. I don't know, but it'll be interesting to find out more in the show. Obviously, we got the Raven Morbius just explaining to him that we want, we need someone like Q, obviously, to do this job, to fix everything. And I love it, the part here, when they're about to go off to a time period, he's like, can I have a weapon? Well, you know, like, can I, do I get a weapon or anything? But <laughs> come on, Loki, you're not trustworthy, so you're not getting a weapon. Obviously, they go through the door and... They've entered to somewhere, which I can't tell which time period they've gone to, but in I don't know, from this, it's you could I'll say it looks modern day, but I don't know. Is, I don't know if it's like present modern day or like I don't know, twenty, twenty I don't know, like twenty thirteen, fifteen, you know that. All in the twenties, I don't know. No twenties, in the two thousands. It's hard to say really, because without seeing a vehicle or what devices people have got or anything really, it's like 
you can't really tell like what time period it is. But he looks modern. He looks like somewhere around the modern. Then we got the bit like there's a the one bit we've seen before with them into to a wax on place. We got a bit with Loki with his two daggers, so he's causing some trouble. Here he looks like we got the mysterious hooded figure in the time various place taking out two gods. Oh, excuse me. Which I would believe that's the female Loki. Well, it has to be because obviously, well, it seems like the female Loki is the main bad. Then we get a scene with obviously Morbius talking to the lady who was like, must, who was the one in charge of the court. So he talks to her. We see a bit with the um, Loki taking on some pit, some gods, some time variant gods. I love it when he punches one of them, like making them fly in, and he goes like, bye bye. <laughs> That's funny. We see Loki running through a, like a digging side with meteor pink, pink, well, purple meteors coming down. Well, we've seen that before, but we see more of it. We got a bit with a late with the hoodie figure, well, I see his lady Loki, dragging someone through one of those time varied portal doors. We have a time variant, so, hmm, wonder what's going on there. I'll say maybe that's how she gets into the time variant place. We got Loki by one of those doors, but somewhere, like, maybe in the same place where the meteors are coming from. Obviously, we got Morbius and Loki by together, and we get, like, a big view, like, a good view of the whole time variant uh, place, and looks pretty massive, and, well, where they at? This looks pretty amazing. Now, I love the bit where Loki goes on about, like, um, no one controls me, you know, that kind of line. And I'm like, of course not. You don't want no one to control you. We see Loki, obviously, he escapes from the time variant. Obviously, after that walks on mission. So, there's a reason why he does that. So, that'd be interesting to see why. We got a bit like we've seen before with, the pla looks like a planet that's all cracked up. And then this bit here, we get a scene, like, from the di it's from the dishes you can't see properly. Like, Loki coming down from the Asgardian throne, so... I mean, I don't know that's the... I'm sure that's the Loki we're following in the show, but... Oh, wonder what happened there. Unless that's... Unless we're going to get a scene with our actual Loki, obviously in the time period... Obviously before his death. Well, what we know so far, he died from Thanos for real, but we don't know. He might have done a trick. Then we got him by a, some weird place with all, like, crack cracks about on the um, series and all that. Don't know where this could be. Then we got a bit with the time vet, one of the time variant soldiers. Looks like they're preparing to attack someone. Maybe Loki. Well, oh wait a minute, hang on. It looks like she's that one's attacking. Oh, the lady um, time variant. So, oh, I don't know what's going on there. Very interesting. More with Loki attacking the um, time variants. I was using his powers, like his green blast. So, well, he's matching with it. So that's interesting. We got a weird place with all fog and everything, so I don't know what that place is. Obviously, for the dialogue we hear about with Loki saying about, well, obviously more being saying about you stab people in the back and all that. A lot, and in, in this, in, them in the area like in the dining area with all, like a like a dining area where everyone goes for lunch. And I love when Loki goes like, "Well, no, I won't do it again now." And I'm like, "Come on, Loki, you're gonna stab someone in the back. You are. That's where you are." But that is funny. Obviously, we see uh, Ness, we see Bun Socks, like, Loki attacking two people. Looks like Loki's heading to somewhere with some weird storm going on. Obviously, we've got a bit here with Loki next to Lady Loki, so something's going on there. Then the lady, obviously the time variant lady. Looks like we got someone with a sword attack, about to attack. And the last shot we got with Morbius and Loki in Pompeii with a... And it looks like Loki's just standing there with his hands like that. Like that, whoa, kind of thing. And behind him, the smoke's about to come to him. And I'm like, Loki, you better get out of there before you get burned in Pompeii. <laughs> and then that ends here. Obviously with the logo coming up with all the different looks of the letters of Loki. And then obviously, like the day we've heard, June the 11th. So that's when it's coming to Disney+. Plus. Really, this looks amazing. I'm really looking forward to this show because I'm like, it's going to be interesting to see what this Loki is up to, you know, what he's going to be doing in the show and all that. But also, it's rather to see what happens in the end. Like, does he go back to his normal time period or 
does he jump into our MCU timeline like the pop, you know? I mean, we don't know. We don't know what the possibilities could be yet. And last year, really, I think I saw from the footage, really, so, should we? If you want to see this for yourself, the link will be down in the description below so you can jump to the trailer for yourself. Um, after seeing it, leave a comment down below, like, what do you think? Do you think it's good? Are you looking forward to it? Drop your own thoughts and theories down there and we can have a discussion of them. Um, also, give this video a thumbs up if you like the video. Share this out to your friends. So, if they want to watch someone different for once and, you know, they've never seen one of mine, show them one of my videos and if they like it. And, if, well, if they get to like it later on with other videos I have, they can subscribe to the channel. If you are new to this channel, this is what I do. I do the Marvel and Transformers Cinematic Universe news. That goes with the trailers. The Super Bowl TV spots. I don't mainly do clips, but I don't know. There might be an occasion, like, it might be a special one, and I'm like, okay. Well, I don't know, but I don't mainly. And then the spoiler reviews I do. Now, I know I said I was going to do spoiler reviews when it comes to the net, obviously the Marvel shows, but... Now, nah, like I said before, I've, if I believe I said it, I said, might not do it, but... Yeah, that didn't happen. I, w I wanted to do... I did in the... Eventually, I said, oh, I might just do, like, an end of spray, like, the end of the show kind of one, but that didn't happen as well. But, who knows? Maybe I might, um... Uh, well, I might not, but... Eh, it happened to be something fun to do, but... I don't know why. I just... I don't know. I just don't feel like lately doing a lot more videos. I don't know why. I have just... Mainly just do videos like this, reactions and all that, but... Who knows? Maybe eventually I might feel like... No, I'll get back into it. And the news videos. Try and get back to those if I ever can. Um, but that's all with it. Now, with the um, tra like the trailers, the Super Bowl spot, well, the clips and all that, I do the ones that are non-spoilies, you know, when they don't give too much away, like that one, for example. And like I said, for the spoiler reviews, I mainly touch upon the film side. That's the Marvel and Transformers. And uh, last but not least, you will see me last Marvel video for the Falcon and the Solar trailer, clear here, but everyone's seen that by now. Me uh, channel, make sure you click the bell, it's going to be notified when new videos are up. And here to see me last Transformers video. So that's really guys, so I hope you enjoyed this reaction and breakdown video of the Loki, of the Loki show. Thank you for watching, see you again soon, peace.